Yes, hello. See that I picked a very apt time to begin. Uh, trying to say something. Something which I usually would have waited up probably at least a couple more minutes for, but I figure since I'm already starting things later than usual, might as well try to... to act accordingly to whatever degree I can. Either a bike is something advanced collection, or is it all just things I've experienced fully already? I mean, uh, that second part is a given, I think, for when it comes to most Castlevania media, anyway. But, regardless of that, I'm pretty sure that I am gonna be waiting for it to, well, just get any kind of a sale, and then I'll probably grab it as soon as I dub it convenient. Pretty much the same goes for, um, what do we call it? Pretty much the same goes for the other thing that came out today, which completely escaped my mind until right this moment, which is the Act Racer remake. Which I think is actually going for more money, even though, well, I mean, it is a completely new thing. Even though, if it's anything like the original Act Racer, and it doesn't, like, include any kind of significant expansion, then it probably will be the kind of thing that I, you can beat very quickly. That's... I suppose that means I feel more justified in that case, in waiting, but I mean, I'm also the kind of person who doesn't want to pay full price for the paid version of Cookie Clicker that came out, so I'm literally just also waiting for any kind of sale to go on that thing before I grab it. And I can indulge my occasional secret vice, which is idle games. Even though I had like a very brief personal retrospective of those kinds of games recently, and there's probably not very many that I would actually go back to for any any amount of time, really. Not even a considerable amount of time, just literally at all. I mean, those games are all just, like, inherently even more of a waste of time than you can describe <coughs> this other things, but you know, there's a couple that are at least worth a somewhat closer look. They're not quite as terrible as the others, but anyhow. Not Corticals right, not Corticals as in I haven't experienced that fully, because I think I technically have. It's just yet another one of those uh, very curious and illustrious examples where I play a video game. And even though I have played a video game, after the fact I have a very hard time trying to remember literally anything about it. And I probably just owe that to the fact that um, Chronicles was one of those games that was on PS1, which doesn't really say much because I think we all know what other Castlevania was on PS1, and that one I know quite well. But I guess it's a mixture of that, uh, now that I think about it, and it being in the, I guess, quote-unquote, classic Castlevania style. Which I am somewhat less prone to, I don't know, wanting to experience more of than Metroidvania style. Pretty much the same reason why I probably wouldn't replay something like, I don't know, The Adventure or Belmont's Revenge in full. Unless I really, really felt like I... like it was a good idea for whatever reason, so probably not anytime soon. But yeah, here another example of a game that I played in full, I want to say at least twice, and yet I barely remember, in spite of it, you know, having been something that I actually played through, and in spite of it being Castlevania of all things, I feel like I barely remember the music from it. I feel like the most... the thing that I remember the most clearly about that game is less to do with that, and more to do with uh, some very minor aesthetic details of things that would be somewhat visually reprised in later games, more than the music, somehow. But... what am I trying to do right now? I should be clicking on this. To start, I'll do this, I'll deal with the other step of that later, but right now I guess I might as well just get started with this thing that I've just kind of been unconsciously putting off, because I don't know what I'm trying to accomplish right at this moment, and uh, let me see, let me quickly just make my back up here to this tab, which at least I still have open. Which has the randomized version of the current hybrid chase playlist, I suppose. And I will play a few tracks from this if I can, like, 
find my place back to where I was before. Let's see, it was something. Uh, it was after this. Uh, it was after that, I think. Whatever's after this might have been the. No. Yeah, this was probably the Volga Strike. This looks about right here. But yeah, in just a moment I will do this little ritual that I guess I've taken to doing at the start of every stream now, in which I will play five random tracks from the Change VGM playlist maintained by Agarar, and they will each play for about a minute before I gotta confirm what they are. And any person may try to guess what they are. Except waiting possibly myself, unless I am very much uncertain of what they may be, which is uh, very much a possibility. Possibility, which would be the case, such as in the example of this thing, which I have selected right now. It's not playing right now, obviously, because I've got my own playlist, but as soon as that hits the loop point for this track, I'll try to fade it out. Actually, well, I thought it was about to hit the loop point, but it might actually take a moment longer. Well, it doesn't matter, but yeah. Well, I can just say what it is. It's uh, a video that's lit up right now that I can't see what comes after it, so... We have to just use that as the first example of random tracks here, but the one that's all up right now is Oriental Flower from Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger, a track which I don't think I would be able to recognize, so if I were to hear that, I would probably make some kind of comment saying this sounds like this, but I wouldn't have any kind of actual assurance that that was the case. Not yet. Okay, now it's hit the loop point, so now I will briefly edit this track out, play a little bit of this Calamity Trigger track to... Uh, go ahead and gauge the audio levels, and... okay. So we're gonna go for five random tracks. Starting... now. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I know the game for this, but... The track I want to say that I'm not too sure of, because I don't think that I ever... Uh, this is another game that I'm tangentially aware of, and that I think I played very briefly, but... As far as the track names, I would have to like actually look at a list of them to even try to figure out what what specific track this could be. With few exceptions, I feel like there's a few tracks from this game that I can recognize immediately, but this would not be one of them. I also want to say that it vaguely reminds me of a certain track from a certain uh, Rogueverse adventure game starring Sherlock Holmes, in which you have to do a chase scene. Which for some reason... It's like a bit of a tease in that in that game you can actually switch between first person and third person perspectives, even though it's like a point and click adventure. Uh, but in the first person one you have to like actually walk around with a keyboard and all that stuff. But when you do the chase scene, you are forced to do it in first person, you can't switch off of it. So you can't see the character model that they I guess just didn't want to animate and that's why it's like that. Doing all the stuff that it's doing during that sequence, which is pretty ridiculous. And I've had this that is like a potential prospect for something that I might want to stream at some point since... Oh God, I don't know, for many, many years, I'll just put it that way. Uh, but it's been a minute, so this is obviously the game racing, I wanna say. No, never mind, I was completely wrong. This is Mario RPG. It sounds so much like a video game racing thing, but... It is actually Mario RPG, and it's apparently the Ducati Mountain Railroad. Mario RPG being one of those games that I think I... I played through a very, very long time ago, when I was a bored teenager, and I played like a bunch of Super Nintendo RPGs with uh, trainers, so I didn't have to spend any more time with them than was necessary. Let me hear the very beginning of this again. So yeah, it does still remind me of that track from that game that I was mentioning just a moment ago, but... It sounds so much like freaking something from the Dick Home Racing, I wanna say, even though that was a completely different artist for these two games. But yeah, there you go. The County Mountain Railroad. I'd like to imagine that I can just say, like, this is some kind of minecart minigame and that would be accepted, but I honestly don't remember if that would be the context or not, but well, anyhow, let's go ahead and move on to the next one here. Hmm. Okay, well. I don't have any real certainty on what this could be. Straight off, but I'm thinking it could be Shenmue 1 or 2, perhaps. I don't know if I can think of anything. Beyond that. I 
feel like at this point Shenmue probably would be my strongest guess. Speaking of Shenmue... I feel like I kind of want to play through that at some point soon. So that I can complete the sequence of playing Mr. Defaults and then playing Shenmue and then playing Deadly Probation. And see, like, we'll try to gauge just from personal observation how much all of these three things in sequence take away from each other. But anyway, it's just been a minute, so see exactly what this is. This is, in fact, Shenmue 2, not Shenmue 1. And apparently the name of the truck is Daiyuan Apartments. I guess it's the one where he's in Hong Kong, if I remember. Even though my knowledge of these games is mostly superficial, since I haven't actually played through either of them. I was actually thinking that maybe I could play through the other premonition. Like, real soon, like off-screen. But maybe I should focus on doing this one first. It seems like it might be a bit of a more sound idea right now. So that same thing that I just mentioned. Just here at the beginning of this again. Well, see, at the very beginning it's probably just the instrumentation and a vague similarity, but it reminds me a bit of a certain track from Splatoon 2. Which I think actually made it onto the samples for that game. I think Splatoon 2 finally made it in, uh, into the chase. It got out of submissions, right? If I look up there and I don't see it anywhere, I'm going to assume that that's the case, yeah. That does seem to be in the case. And there's so much of stuff that made it out of play just recently, isn't there? And now Neo 2 is also in that state. So Shenmue 2 sounds quote unquote lower quality, more sequence than Shenmue 1. Hmm. I can probably. I mean, I don't. I feel like I barely know like two or three tracks from Shenmue 2, but you can probably agree with that. Platoon 2 is in, yeah, that's what I remembered. But anyhow, this is only been the second track, so let me go ahead and move on to the middle one. Oh boy, I wonder what this could be. Reptoid Rupture played in Lantern Gaze, uh, yeah. Let me take a quick look at my very top secret list of things that I sometimes try to keep with some degree of competency that tells me which tracks were the sample tracks for each um, submission. Splatoon 2 had Riptide, Rupture, Blitz, Hit, Evan, Flow, Fresh Start, Don't Sleep, and I think they added into the lights, or slapped out something for Into the Light before it actually uh, made it fully through. But I don't know which one it was. And honestly, not a single one of those, um... Not a single one of these tracks that's actually listed here. Uh, except for if Into the Light was actually swapped in. Seemed familiar to me. I don't know, I guess I made... Splatoon 2 was like a... or no, not Splatoon 2, literally the opposite of what I just said. Splatoon 1 was like the one game where I made any kind of conscious effort that I have any memory of to learn at least some of the track names. I don't think I ever did that for Splatoon 2. Except for like a couple. Anyway, I'm guessing this is Fire Red Leaf Green and it's just like the Pokemon Center music. And that is correct, it seems to be. Wow. I guess this is one of the remakes of the first two games, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure it doesn't really make a difference if you say fire red or leaf green, but... I don't think that there's any more remakes of the first Pokémon game in chase that would actually sound like this, are there? I mean, some of the tracks in Pokémon Stadium would be reprisals from those tracks, but... I'll just go ahead and move on. I'm sure they wouldn't sound quite like that, where you have that quality. Okay, I'm feeling kind of weird about the fact that apparently the only track that I've recognized pretty much immediately in this particular uh, set of tracks so far today has been the Pokemon 1, but... Know this one? Yeah, I don't think I know this one. I'm not sure if I can even throw out a guess just based on how it sounds. Honestly, but it sounds like it could very, very vaguely uh, could be from something like a Masafumi Takeda OST, but beyond that, I really have no idea. Yes, I'll know in about 10 seconds. Did 
be one of those tracks that's from something like Fire Engine. It's been secretly a licensed track this whole time. Oh, I'm gonna look. This is apparently... Nope, it's 999. It's another game that I played uh, a long time ago. About 10 years ago now, I want to say. I played through it once on the DS emulator, and... I don't remember anything about it, at least uh, not as far as music. I remember what the plot was like, I remember the characters, I remember that stuff, but... I don't remember any of the music from it, really. I really don't think that's an aspect of the game that stood out to me at all, like I've mentioned before. And then I also played the two sequels that came after it, and I think that I can pretty much just echo the same comment that I just made about the music, but... I do remember being disappointed with the plot, especially in the third one. And to a lesser degree in the second one. This really does feel, at least to me, like one of those games that could have stayed as a standalone. But anyhow, this has been number four, so I'll play one more of these. Well, that was quite an early game, I guess, if I didn't mention that. I have the feeling that I should play something else after this one, because this feels like some kind of bizarre coincidence. I'm just gonna look at it, because I already know what this is. Hmm. I don't know how to feel about the fact that... I would say that at least 50% uh, of the OST from Pokemon Red and Blue would be recognizable to me because that's the only... That's the only game in this series, at least that's a, uh, I guess, quote-unquote, mainline game that I actually played as a kid. I'm actually bothered to finish, though. I'll be thinking about that in more detail, it's probably less bothered to finish and more um, basically hand it off to my cousins for a while and have them beat it for me. Ah, the Pokemon Tower. I guess I'm gonna play one more just to see. I'm gonna click over the thing and see if, uh, <laughs> if I at least know it. And it's not that. And yeah, it is something that I know. And it is not that. I mean, I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna pre bleh, play an extra track regardless, but. Well, hey, here's another game that I also played as a kid, and that I remember a good chunk of the music from with considerable clarity. And I'm pretty sure I probably at that time ended up deriving more fun out of than I did Pokemon. I feel like there's still a non negligible chunk of the music from this game that I probably wouldn't recognize as readily. track would just be the constant kind of bizarrely rhythm shifting and dissonant percussion that's going on. Okay, this has been Banshee board work from Mario Kart 64, I guess I'm counting that as like a just out of my own caprice as a extra bonus track that actually counts in the main part of this, so the next thing that that will play is not something that I'm actually going to be able to play because for some reason the music from this series is very prone to getting picked up by music robots, so let's see if I can find something else to play this out. Like Sand Battle from Twilight Princess, there we go. I should probably actually listen to the last one but by myself though, which was Airplane Ride from Mother One. Because I actually am not even sure what that sounds like, just looking at the, uh, the name of it. Mother One I think is another RPG that at least I started playing with a trainer a long time ago, but pretty sure that uh, there came a point that because I basically made myself invincible, I broke the progression of that game and it didn't really feel like continuing it. Long, long song, yeah. But yeah, my memory of Mother 1 pretty much just mounts to... I think getting to... I don't even remember that, that this is actually what happened, but I think like getting to the point where you first go to Magic Hand, and then when you try to like move away from that, there's a couple of paths you can take, and one of them is 
blocked by some kind of sleeping dragon that's supposed to be super strong and unbeatable at that point, but it wasn't because I was cheating, so... I think I killed it and I was like, well, I don't know if I'm supposed to go this way or if something bizarre is gonna happen, so I just kind of stopped at that point. And I never really went back to it. Yeah, this has been like the extra track. I will go ahead and fade that out now, me thinks. And briefly bring back this other playlist that I had playing in the background. Let's get to the uh, the ending of this heretic track as I sell. As I change the metadata first, that's probably something that I actually should have said first. Real quick. And then I actually try to start playing video games, at least for a little while. It will be just for a little while since I ended up starting late today. Uh, what do I do? I do this to make the controller work. Hey, this is... A track that I kind of considered briefly for my Chase Top 100, but ended up going for another one over it. Even though I kind of implicitly wanted to bring a bit more attention to this track in particular, because this track is one that I actually remember from playing Eleanor and that is not listed in the OST, so... I feel like Chase has a considerable chunk of wasted potential when it comes to stuff like that. Oh shit. I just clicked many times in a row and I don't think that I was supposed to do what I just did, but I don't think it had any lasting repercussions, okay. Good. And now I will try to run the game. see if I can just make it visible. There we go. I have 8 of 138 achievements unlocked. That's probably not uh, gonna grow considerably anytime soon, but I will at least be able to return to this for a short time. on Chronicles, I think. Uh, try to extend my following of a certain implied questline a little bit. I don't remember which of these was the last one that I used. I guess it must be this one. Or you could go talk to some guy on a smoking island before you try to cross the sea to get to this fortress that I guess all the villains have gone to, but uh, I did end up doing that. And now we end up trying to cross the sea, and I think pretty much the only thing that that changed is that we get an extra boss fight against that Harlequin lady that works for Lynx. And now there's spooky ghosts that have attacked the ship here. You wonder who's in charge of the key, I don't know. And I guess the couple of ghosts that we killed in the hallway out here stay dead. Or double dead. This guy, we did catch out of him, but didn't really fight him before. I guess now is the time. Like when it comes to this game, I keep being paranoid that uh, some kind of difficult spike is gonna crop up and this progression that I've made in the game, which feels, uh, at least to me, that it's been somewhat scuffed, is gonna catch up to me, but I don't think that has really happened yet. But the closest that I've experienced to something like that is the Hydra boss fight in the swamp. Where I ended up killing it with pretty much the. I don't know, I pretty much see the last possible opportunity, but even then it feels like it could have been okay. I don't think that f attack actually froze any of the enemies before now. Give them any kind of status ailment. But yeah, in spite of my own kind of um, progression through this game, which I feel probably not 
In a way that makes total sense, but I feel it has been kind of rushed. Doesn't really feel like that's uh, had a negative consequence so far. Well, alright. Have fun with that gun. I will try to grab this chest back here. Aqua ball. I'm guessing that's not the same as aqua, whatever. Low level attack that I think I have on search right now. Now we will help out. I have no idea if this is gonna have any kind of actual consequence trying to help out the pirates or just leaving them to their own devices when they're fighting these guys, but. I guess I can disregard that detail instead of just think of this as uh, hey, if I kill more of these guys, I'll have more stat growth opportunity, which feels like a bit of an awkward way to put it, but it's not like you get actual experience in this game, so. You get like these weird fixed stat growth things like in Final Fantasy 2. I'm not even sure exactly how that system works, how those things are determined, but. I think they still make me compelled to win as many normal battles as possible, so that I can get stronger. That does seem to be how it works. say to me now. I could have taken that thing myself, you know, but thanks anyway. Is that all? Well, I guess we're looking for the key too, so I suppose that's another reason why we should feel compelled to get as much information as we can out of these guys. That's locked. I think I see something like a trapdoor down here, unless that's just like a weird rug that's just in the middle of a ship hallway. It doesn't even fully cover the floor or anything. We're just exploring the hold of a kind of old fashioned styled ship where we're fighting spooky ghosts and ghouls and what have you, which occasionally take cheap shots at us. This clearly must be exactly the same kind of game as Echo Knight. Gravity Blow and Iron, hmm. Those black element spells or elemental. I guess I'm just gonna call them spells, seems to be the most simple way to refer to them. Those black element spells seem to be like the rarest ones. So far, I don't know how useful or practical they're really gonna be in spite of the fact that a bunch of these monsters seem to have the black element innately, and the dude that seems to be the main villain of the game so far seemed to have the black element innately when we fought him that one time. <laughs> So this element this time. Why don't we use Fodden Rain on the guy that's already hurt but on the other guy? Okay. Hmm. Actually, why am I attacking this guy? I shouldn't be attacking that guy. I should be finishing off the dude that we were beating up at first. That probably makes a bit more sense. Some kind of bizarre probability manipulation in a game like in Echo Knight, so I'll beat this game. Oh, we can't even heal. <laughs> I just feel that's because uh, the only one that had healing spells in. I mean, it doesn't make a difference. We did we even need to heal? No. I just realized we didn't even get hit during that fight, so it didn't matter. 
Let's see, the only one with healing spells uh, during that fight was Surge, and I suppose because I used one mildly high level spell with him that eliminated the ability to heal after the fight, but apparently I didn't even need to worry about that, it just didn't matter in the end. crits just from regular attacks here, which we didn't really know if we were getting at all before we upgraded to the iron weapons that we're using right now. Oh hey, we're getting plenty of money. Money that we're probably just gonna end up hoarding, as in all JRPGs. Which is my bunch here now. Can't get through the hallway. Hmm. Go through that vent, damn it all. Are you talking about something? Okay, I guess this thing in the room. I guess we can just reach it. Just take our word for it, they went through the vent. Is there another one guarding the um, chest back there? Oh, well, there's the one fighting that dude over there, but there's also, yeah, this guy guarding the chest, I guess I'll just, yeah. I'll try to deal with the one that's more urgently interacting with somebody else first.
Alright. Sorry, but I don't have the key. That's all he has to say now, though. I think that he was trying to say something else before we trigger that fight, but... It all just can happen too quickly for me to be able to actually let that be written out. Oh yeah, have these, uh, these ghosty enemies aren't going to... Don't seem like they die quite as readily as the skeletons. They have a little bit more health. Ooh. These ghosty enemies, which just have their leech-like head hanging out of their... Uh, their shoulders, I guess, whenever they're about to go down. It's like the yellow version of that um, element that's consumable and that's just for curing status stuff. No, it's for healing. Brace is the one that I was thinking of. Well, there's really only one way to go here. That does frequently seem to be the case though. We don't seem to be getting any more stat increases from these fights. It's definitely making me wonder exactly how it works, but... I'm gonna try to do something like... Just try to figure out how that works uh, by looking into it over the weekend or something. We probably just stop right now and literally just Google that right now, but why would I want to interrupt this incredible action right here? I mean, it doesn't seem like uh, my ignorance of those particulars is affecting my progression at this time anyway. get out well. Well you guys can help out with the uh, I mean he says we have more serious matters to worry about but then he doesn't let us we can't get through here. Monsters are all over the deck. What do we need a key though? Oh I guess we finally found the guy with the key though. I can't believe this is happening. In more than I can believe that you had to like fight like a throw a gauntlet of three joke bosses on the deck when you first came here before we threw you in the hole anyway. You can also go through the arsenal downstairs and make your way up from the outside. Sure. Do you want to repeat that one more time? Alright, fine, I think that's enough. So do you have the key? Okay, that was quick. It's easy. But I suppose, I, mean, I guess they assume that we had to have gone through a fair amount of stuff just to be able to make it back up here. I guess they've barricaded the normal way up to the deck. But if we go even farther down into the depths of the ship, we can get through the deck another way, and I suppose that's our implicit objective right now. I wonder if any of the spooky things that have or that were roaming the hallways before will have respawned with all of our moving around between screens. Can I get on this ladder or not? I guess I just have to like stand here and actually move down. Running directly into the ladder will not change you into the climbing the ladder animation though, which was throwing me off. Okay, so that's key door. I suppose before we go through it we should probably save again. Oh, of 
just a good red. I passed that point. I probably won't be very fruitful to fight him again, but maybe, maybe I can get materials or something. I can think of it that way. Some more stuff that doesn't seem like it has any immediate use, but at least it'll be added to the stockpile. Maybe we'll find some kind of use for it later. Surely that's reason enough to try and get it. I like how we seem to have this like, hard-boiled egg cross-section formation on the fuel effect. It seems like it's very much in our favor when we go up against these monsters, because, uh, you know, they use black elemental stuff and they have, you know, black element, but we got white element to start. Okay, that kind of hurt for once, but it doesn't really matter since I'm pretty sure this guy's about to go down. Just one spell was gonna be enough to fully heal uh, that hit, but I guess I guess Kid was the only one that actually got hurt during that fight. So it's okay, but I just stand here and I think that uh, just that frame of being suddenly rapidly charged by something that looks like this—the fucking what do they call it? Deadbeat. Deadbeat are also the ones that drop iron, aren't they? So. Kill as many of these things as possible. Let's see. That frame might be something that reminds different people of different things, but it reminds me of uh, that one part near the end of the first System Shock game. We are in like hallways, um, being trying to do stuff with the wiring, and those hallways are also populated by these little. Roomba-type creatures that I think if they catch out of you and you don't react quickly enough, they can shoot a bunch of explosives at you. Or maybe it's the other way around, I think. Maybe by that point you have a strong enough arsenal that you're gonna be trying to kill them with explosives, but because it's uh, like very small, narrow hallways, if you don't aim just right, you're gonna get blown up yourself. I don't remember, but I do feel like it's one of those things. In one of those circumstances. I get the feeling we might just end up having more of that. Here and there. Mm. Nothing there. I mean, I see the chest on the other side, but I don't think I can open up the way to there from where I was standing. Would you like some of my homemade vitamin drink? What is that? Just like for healing? What if I say, yeah? It was poisoned. Still in the testing phase. Well, that's cool. Guess we better just immediately use a thing to get unpoisoned. What happens if we talk to him again? Maybe there's like some kind of counterpoint to that. HP restored. Okay. But we still have the poison. <laughs> now we're gonna have full HP. What if we do it again? Let's tempt fate some more. Or Chow was poisoned. HP restored. Can we poison literally everyone? Kid was poisoned. Okay, so... What I'm getting out of this, I guess, is that no one is gonna get unpoisoned if we keep on drinking that thing, so I might as well just... Uh, use a couple of the antidote things so that we can fucking... Get that out of the way. And don't talk to that guy again. Doesn't seem like it's worth it. Oh boy, there's a couple of... Spooky ghouls that come out of these little outposts. I thought it was just gonna be the one. We get to fight more of the uh, a different one. No, it still seems to be Wraith. I guess the field effect formation at the beginning of this fight in particular is a little bit different from what we were getting below decks, but. Doesn't seem to have made a difference at all in light of the fact that we just obliterated that one guy, of which there was only one. So, do we get into another fight immediately after this one? Yep.
Okay, wait, so we can go back into the ship through here, I would imagine, but we can't do the same through this passageway, this hole, or this one, for that matter. Well, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not sure what I'm able to walk on here. Can I go into the... No, I can't go there. Can go down here. I would like to... I would like to fight as many of these dead big enemies as possible, because that will help me farm more iron, which... From what I'm able to tell is, at least at this time, the best source for trying to upgrade my equipment with better materials. So even if I'm not getting any kind of stat increase from normal encounters here, at least I'm getting more of those drops. Characters were uh, not killed. Why was I about to say killed? How did you could tell, but I just said it out loud. At least two different characters have been hurt during this fight, which means that clearly it's a massively important priority that we don't uh, use up any elemental stuff. Just charge that up as much as possible, and then just leave it alone. be a bit of a puzzle to try and potentially avoid the uh, encounters, more encounters with these things, but why would I want to avoid that in light of what I've been saying this whole time? Which is that I want all of their drops. Feels like a really good deal to get more of those. It'll probably feel like, uh, I don't know, something a bit more more of a lukewarm thing later on, but right now it doesn't. Right now it feels like a good deal, trademark symbol. So let us stick with that. Guess maybe if Kit can charge up one of those um, top level multi-attack um, magma bomb, there we go. Maybe she can just immediately obliterate both of these two guys with that, or no. She doesn't even do that much damage, she can just hit them with a long combo with normal attacks. Look for entire drops of iron. Well, I guess I'll take a look a little bit farther down. Oh, wait, what? Oh, did another uh, wraith like spawn out of nowhere and walk into me? Didn't quite catch that. A little too busy looking at other stuff that was in the background, but yeah, I guess we just got jumped by another wraith. And apparently there's a Tsitsi fly in here. I don't know what you're gonna do, so. And you look pretty gross, so I guess I'm just gonna feel compelled to deal with you first. In the, I suppose, potential eventuality that you could inflict poison or something like that. I don't wanna go with that again.
Okay, look at this move looking thing, and I want to believe that it's not a an enemy. You know what? I want to be thorough about killing both these things, so I'll kill this one too. Even though I could have just walked away, but I suppose peace as an option is not in my nature. But when it comes to this uh, dilemma. drops of iron. Can't possibly leave without that. How much iron do we have at this point? I guess I might as well look now. Uh, we would have... Um, where would we have that, actually? I think we would have an element. Would it be on... Uh, on I don't think it would be on status either, surely. You know, I had actually read this stuff out, but I guess he's labeled as a silent protagonist. Shows his height, his weight, build ordinary. How about the rest of these characters? Mysterious Traveler. Ambidextrous. Now you know. Fisherman and Ferryman. From Gold of. He's right handed. I guess you can see what, by the way, he uses it. Rod whip thing. And I guess we can figure out what this status thing is for um at his face for Peter, because he's just not around right now. Could swap him in, well not right now because we're not near a save point, but I actually don't know where to uh where to check for this stuff. Would it be under equipment? No. I guess it would be down here in the accessories thing. Yeah, that's where we can see at least how many of these, each thing we have. We have uh, 14 things of iron right now. Which I would say is probably a pretty good uh, state of affairs. If we want to create more weapons out of that. We're probably going to want to figure out what the deal is with this mobile looking mouse thing. So probably a good idea to clear out as much of this place as possible. So that these things sound good in the way. See. It's been so long since I played this wonder if it actually has a connection with Conrad Trigger. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure of that myself either, honestly. Like that has ended up being uh, one of the reasons why I ended up trying to play this. After basically ignoring it for a really long time. One of them being that it seems to be one of these one of those games that apparently everyone knows the music to, and the other being that uh, I don't actually know anything about the story or if it has any actual connections with Chrono Trigger and well, from what I've played a bit so far, I played Radical Dreamers before this which was like the oops, the PC engine but now it's a television game that was sorta of, kinda of the game that this is the kinda fake sequel slash remake or and that game had like a couple of Veiled connections with Corner Trigger, but I don't think they exist at least quite in the same state in this one. But I've seen a few name drops of stuff from Corner Trigger, but I'm not entirely sure of the extent of their significance so far. Hmm. Well, time to grab some more iron again. Have you played this game before, uh, Grimland, you say that you've 
It's been so long since you played this, so I guess you probably have. How do you think of it? I might have heard of it, uh, like, it seems to be at least some people somewhat divisive. I mean, so far I want to say that I don't mind it. So far I don't think uh, it's quite as iconic to me as uh, Chrono Trigger was, but I want to say that I mind this game. Also the fact that I played through Trigger a whole bunch of times, and and when it comes to this game, I feel like I've uh, not necessarily filled, uh, or what am I trying to say? Haven't necessarily gained a, a very thorough understanding of the mechanics quite yet, or anything like that. So who knows? Maybe that will change. I got a bit, got near the end, but it's been around 15 years ago or so. My memory's terrible. Hmm. Also, hello, Agatha, and thank you so much for subscribing. For up to seven months now. Enjoy your Bob, enjoy your Novats, and all that good stuff. I guess I'm just gonna say enjoy your Novats at this point, even though I remain unconvinced that subscribing actually stops you from seeing ads based on my own experience, but it seems like the easy thing to say. The go to, you might say. It's that time. Well, it's a little bit past that time, uh, as far as, well, I don't know which specific thing you're referring to, but... Almost pretty much gave up on making time for that time tonight, but I figured why not. I got a couple of random internet connection blips a while ago, and I don't know what was up with that. Looks like everything uh, stopped working for... What's going on here? Okay, I guess I have to hold left here and not up. Everything stopped working for like a few minutes at a time out of nowhere, but and that happened a couple of separate uh, occasions, but it seems to have stopped at least. <laughs> It's actually gonna be a lot more smooth than the other ones have been. Just this one, dude. It's probably gonna lead into something else, though. Didn't actually the better when the chase started. Could type somewhat, but couldn't use emotes or anything else. Hmm. If, uh. Well, I don't. I was almost said I think or I feel, but it's an unnecessary addition because I know for a fact that I ended up missing a. Uh, small chunk of songs at the start of the chase today since uh, I ended up falling asleep for a little bit right after I woke up for it and uh, didn't end up actually getting into the chat for that until like 7.30 which I guess uh, I should specify is about a half hour after it starts in my time oh goodness Maybe Fargo should have worn himself out fighting us for fun, because he didn't expect the spooky ghost ship to attack his own ship. I to check my answer on mobile or every track to make sure they went through it was a real pain, yeah. Sometimes I type answers through very quickly on the bot DM thing and they don't seem, well, I don't know if they seem to go through, like sometimes they just disappear completely, but... Sometimes I feel like I've, um, I need to go slower specifically to make sure that it doesn't eat anything. Now are we taking the wheel? Don't forget we be pirates aboard the SS Invincible. Time to show these monsters what we're made of. Well, the spooky foggy sky does, doesn't seem to be uh, having that solitary victory effect anymore, but I guess taking the wheel have we effects of throwing us into some kind of boss fight too. I have to get from the music here. Doesn't really seem like a boss fight though, it's just a bunch of these uh, deadbeat enemies unless they're going to, okay never mind, actually fuse together into something bigger. I wonder if this guy will drop iron or something better than iron. Deadhead. 
Speaking of something that vaguely reminds me of FF2, I do vaguely remember some enemies in FF2 being called a deadhead. I guess I will try to get that black element out of the field as quickly as possible. Let's start by doing the fountain ray. And probably build up some element charge with Kit so that she can steal. So what's this thing gonna do? Oh, it's gonna use more black element attack. Which is why, you know, we should. Oh, element damage half temporarily. But, okay, that didn't really specify if it was going to do to be multiple elements or what. So I'm not too sure what I ought to make of that, but let's see. Let's pilfer, see if this thing has anything worth taking. Space my answer out, it's gravity blow. I think that's another black element thing that we probably already had, at least one of them, although. Even plenty of answers where I type it instantly, yeah. Sometimes I actually feel like it's for the better that I... I sometimes end up... Jesus Christ, that's loud, what the fuck? Alright, something might have been going on outside. Wonder what was up with that. Let's see, what can you do? I guess you can also use black element stuff, health soul. I don't think health soul is gonna do anything, I probably shouldn't be trying to spread more black element anyway. Let's try, um, I guess ice lance, that's on the tier 2 thing. Bring out maybe a couple of these. Of course, well, and it's gonna get to attack again. I suppose the battle system for this game is a bit unique compared to other JRPGs of the time. Is it good though? Hmm. Well, it's certainly interesting, I would say that. I feel like I um, haven't really had any major problems with it myself so far. It does seem like it's a bit of a mystery. Okay, well, after that very loud, very loud channel of sirens, we just got like a very loud, obnoxious engine in the background there. Echoing through the night. But yeah, like I've mentioned a few times, I feel like it's a bit like FF2, where the stat progression is a bit of a mystery. I do with her. I guess maybe just attack with fireball. Build up red and blue element, probably a good idea. But maybe for that very reason, it feels like it's uh, not too difficult to figure out or to uh, get into. It might be a little bit more difficult to figure out, like a more specific kind of uh, maybe, if you'll pardon the expression, approaching min maxing thing. It's a bit more meant or, um, I guess, thought out for efficiency, but... Oh, is this thing actually nearing death now? If it is, then this thing is actually gonna turn out to be a lot smoother boss fight than the last boss fight that we did. Now that it's able to do death's order again. At least this time it doesn't have any uh, black element on the field. Did that even do anything? Oh. I think we got like a black affliction and a couple of characters that might be like blindness. Might be why some of the uh, hit rate on some of the characters was scuffed. That would make sense. But I mean, I think Korcha has this bizarre affliction that I think the boss put on him, but it doesn't seem like it's doing much of anything now. Alright, now we'll do the level 4 Ice Blast and see if that does anything special. Not terribly so. Okay, now, Surge is definitely afflicted with something. Uh, I guess I could try to use some charge. Just try to heal up. Or use meteorite. Try to use meteorite. Didn't do a whole lot, but... Okay, but it's now gonna do a move called Imbecile. 
So I'm gonna try to magic temporarily decreased. Oh well. I think we're gonna try to use some of that magic regardless, I think. And uh, let's use um, fireball again. Can't imagine that it will do a whole lot of anything right now since uh, there's like one thing of its opposing element on the field here. And we have the magic down thing. Oh Jesus Christ. Okay. Torcha died. Uh, did anybody else in our party have the revive thing? Sir, do you have the revive thing? I guess we can check. Apparently, I, f I think I just now saw that, but it looks like. Uh, we got. Look under the attack in the top right there, we can see the status ailments that we have right now, which is darkness and cursed. So I wonder if Kid can do anything to help with that. Probably not, because it would have to be, like, easily allocated to. Uh, to be able to use that. Hmm. Okay, this could potentially be a problem. I should keep attacking with Kid and see if that uh, does the trick. Ooh. I guess I did it. And I realized this preemptively because the achievement showed up. But yeah, I do seem to be having this problem fairly frequently where I beat a boss and one of the characters is dead for the boss's defeat, so. And of course, to assume that that character doesn't get all the benefits that that character should be getting at that point. No elements used. Also, we didn't actually get any healing at the end of that because we didn't have enough charge. Okay, we ghost the effect is back. Just not rendering properly, but oh well. But you were heading to Fort Dragoni to go after Viper and his men. Let me give you some advice. Old Pyre is a fiery hell. You should go see the Water Dragon for his divine protection. Although I haven't heard much about him recently. Hmm. Are you saying that we should turn back? I haven't heard much about that dragon or the other dragons either. Well, we saw a dragon that was sleeping in the... Uh, the town of, like, inhuman creatures that hate humans, but... Alright, I guess that means that we shouldn't actually go directly to Mount Pyre, Pyre Shore. But we don't go straight from going through the foggy area, through the pirate ship section, and into the, uh, the fortress, like I thought might be the case, because I guess the fog somehow dissipates. Well, let's try going to the Water Dragon Isle. We should probably try going someplace else, like, you know, the inn, so that we can heal up. Probably a good idea, but... I will tempt fate by at least taking a look inside of this area before I do anything else. Okay, so this is the place that I've already explored a little bit, which is where the fairies and the mirrors are. I'll come right back here, but I've got to go ahead and heal at the inn and terminal, like I said. I think there's anything else we can do with all that iron that we got from that uh, fighting the dead ghosty creatures section. I suppose if you haven't actually found the iron from going and looting the chests in the uh, the water dragon isle that I went to before, uh, I suppose the cue should be to go and do that now. I already got the iron weapons, at least for my main characters, but. Can I get anything else now that I have even more iron to kind of... Maybe not spare, but like throw around a little bit. Or more, something like that. There's not going to be anything better as far as the weapons right here. Anything else is going to be either the same thing that we have right now, or... 
We could get a steel sword, but we don't think we didn't get one before because we weren't using that guy. We could get iron vest. I suppose we don't actually have any of those. Iron vest and iron mail. Hmm. Well, iron mail is more expensive, so maybe I should give this a try, but well, looks like the trouble with this one is that we can only get a couple because we actually have only a couple of things of cover right now. Ironically enough, we have not been able to gain more cover, but this bronze helmet and iron helmet, but we need screw, which we have not found yet for that one. I should try to get iron mail. And then I'm gonna back out of the menu. equipment now. Let's see, if I try to equip Iron Mail, will that be, yeah, I suppose the same potential slot as Iron Vest. So I should probably just try to, I guess, craft another Iron Mail to be used by somebody. So I can only make one more with the one more thing of cover that I have, and I guess just one more Iron Vest as well. I see one more, even though that's the only iron vest that we have at this time. Okay, I guess you get the other iron mail that we have. I try to switch out to iron vest, I suppose that risks the 8% a little bit. Well, that's a potential trade off, but. right now will be good enough. And this probably won't work, but what if I leave this place and go back to Viper Manor again? Surely the golem that darts the front gate will not have returned and have made it possible for us to kill him again, and no, I guess not. And get another drop of cover, which we could use to build another iron mail. I suppose that's not actually going to be possible right now. I don't think there's anything else that we could uh, farm cover off of right now either, so I guess that's going to have to wait. At least I've heard the story supposedly is pretty good, like the variety of characters too, yeah. That seems to be a very... very variable experience kind of thing. So apparently you can get a bunch of different characters in this, but... Uh, like, the range of characters that you can actually get seems to be determined by some choices, which I have no idea exactly what they are, I'm just kind of going with whatever patterns. Since this is a blind run and all, but... Apparently doing exactly what I've been doing has locked me out of getting a number of characters. I suppose that's supposed to um, act as a sort of incentive to add replay value to the game. I suppose I'll try to figure out later on exactly how or whether or not I'm gonna do that later. But I would like to actually beat the game, just kind of going through without trying to be too mindful of that at first. I have to do at least three playthroughs to unlock them all. Yeah, I've heard something like that in the past. clean out all the chests in this area and fought some of the bug enemies that show up here. And I think trying to talk to everybody. If I try to go back to this screen in the back and try to talk to the fairies again, will they have anything new to say? Like maybe we can ask them about this whole uh, water driving business, which I suppose is the reason that we're here now. Oh, said, uh, oh hey, you didn't have a portrait before. We come to this island seeking the dragon blood. If so, please turn back now. The fountain has run completely dry. Now there's supposed to be water everywhere, but apparently that is not the case. If the characters were only like two, they were decent. Well, I mean, I will say that at least of the characters that I've been able to recruit so far, which is like a. You know, all four of them. Feels like uh, 
The stats on Pierre really left a lot to be desired. Where's our bone from the morning dewdrops we need a tree, okay, so I'm pretty sure that's what the ones that actually move around we've heard before and they don't seem to have changed. Instead of the season invitation to the dark, the abysmal darkness, we've heard that before too. And there's two, I'm pretty sure. Small star fell into the sea of the trip that I left, but that was a long time ago. Well, this has been very uh, informative, but I don't know if it's putting us any closer to try and figure out what we want to do here. Do you have anything more to say to me? A dragon once reigned over this island, but that was long ago. Entrance has been completely sealed and is now impossible to enter. There's also this weird mirror thing that we that we found up here. It doesn't seem like we can pass through it or anything like that, but I wonder if it's anything like the mirrors in the Isle of the Dead that we very briefly ventured into before we figured out that anything that we try to find there is probably just gonna completely annihilate us in two seconds. At least right now. sure exactly what I should be doing here now. But it seemed it, yeah, this did seem to be the place that I was being directed to, so I imagine that there is something to find. Well she's not saying anything different. Is there some kind of secret in this corner of the screen? Oh hey there is actually noticed this thing before. I found more iron, even though I don't really need it anymore. At least not as badly as I did before. Okay, yeah, I've heard you say that before. So we have to do something to either find some kind of underground passageway or bring water back to the island or something like that. I think is what I've gathered so far of this place. Hmm. Actually, hold on a moment. I'm gonna figure out how to go and talk to the guy that's like to the right here. I think that to do that I have to go this way. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to see this passageway. Strange skeleton thingy has been haunting my dreams saying put my body back together. Well Yeah, we've met that guy. He's been hanging out with us for a while. I guess this isn't some kind of cave entry or anything like that. I don't know how many different places we can potentially go to to try and get the remainder of the body parts for that guy, but This way and climb up here, I guess not. Unusual weather. I don't think the solution is gonna turn out to be something like go to the other world and visit this location in the other world, because I don't think we have a boat in the other world. The major power pool is going to investigate these islands in full force. Okay, so some of these people do say something different if you probe them enough, but... Not very many of them. According to the fairies here, the legendary dragon god really exists. Okay, think well, why is blocking the entrance to the underground cavern proves it. Hmm. Wait, is that what that's supposed to be? Thick wall of ice and not a mirror. Hold on, I'm gonna take another quick look at it. It's just gonna be a matter of uh, find an item to melt that ice. And that should be our objective right now. I guess that's what this is supposed to be. Thick wall of ice. I mean, what do we have right now? of these things, Shark Tooth, Manor Key, Astral Amulet, surely this thing will help me. No, I can take a look at all of them in the menu again. Oh, 
Oh, she tamed the wildest of wingipedes. We didn't really use this at all in the swamp, so I'm not sure. Like the time to use it just hasn't come yet or what. Is there the ribs? So we found a pelvic bone under ribs, but I guess we're still missing quite a bit of this. And mixed bones. Boy, it's impossible to tell which one is which, but I guess the implication is that some of the bones were the. For the skeleton guy are in there. I don't think any of these things are gonna help me with the ice wall here, so. Not too sure what to do now. This fairy in the middle doesn't seem to have anything to say. Or anything more to say on the matter. Mountain has run completely dry, the other springs, blah blah blah. We established that here. There's bizarre weather conditions. And the entrance is sealed, so I don't know if we're supposed to do something about the ice directly, or if we're supposed to do something about the weather. Or how we would accomplish either of those things for that matter, but... It doesn't really seem like there's much we can do by staying here. I'll try to fight one of these bug creatures. Maybe that would lead to answers, or maybe I'm just uh, exercising wishful thinking. to be a chest down there, which pretty much gives you the only reason why you want to go to that ledge, but no, it's not there anymore. I'll fight one of these things regardless. It's just one Scorpio, I think that's it. I think we even had the iron weapons when I came first came to this place and tried to fight these things, so probably shouldn't be a problem. Streams are too late, man. I'm sorry I got caught up with uh, circumstances and not even being sure for a while if it was gonna be possible for me to stream based on the uh, fact that I kept having these internet lips, but don't welcome in uh, Choco Keiki to what will probably you know, somewhat ironically too, in light of that, but also, well, not really ironically, more like, as a consequence of that, just... <laughs> will turn out to be a somewhat shorter stream. I suppose I did get a some kind of a stat increase, maybe the way that that determined is that each of these star levels, I guess, that you get as you progress with the story, give you like the threshold of how strong you can get just from random encounters. And once you hit that threshold, you need to go up another start level to be able to get even stronger than that. Well, let me see, what if I go to, like, the... Arnie Village. Can I dock this near Arnie Village, at least? This probably won't work, but I might as well give it a try. Won't be able to stay because of what I told you yesterday. Haha, <laughs> so good night. Ooh. I'll see you later if you're just stopping by to say hi. And have a good night. I think I know what you're referring to, yeah. Unfortunate, but. So I made it back to the other world. And I think my suspicion that I just don't have a boat in this world, so I can't really go very far, is still holds up. So I'm not really too sure what to make of the current situation. Let me take a look at what, what the save says if I look at the save right now. It says... On to other Dragon Isle in search of the Dragon Blue, so I guess we pretty much are forced to do that. It doesn't seem like one of those situations where we can just kind of cheese the uh, progression, which there seem to have been at least a couple of those situations in this game so far. We 
situations where we can do things like a smart way or just try to brute force it, but if we're strong enough we can just brute force it, but I get a feeling that that won't be the case if we just try to go directly to the uh, fire island. Still can't go here in the home world. Wonder if that's ever gonna change. I get a feeling that we won't be able to get any boats from here either, so... It's probably a completely dead-end inquiry that we're doing right now. I think that she's still saying exactly the same thing as... Uh, as she was at the start of the game. I guess Lena or whatever her name is here, she's gonna stay here forever. I guess suddenly disappear from the beach and I... I'm pretty sure that I checked in on this place since, at least once, but... And then I went away and I came back again, but she's still saying the same thing. Nope, I guess we're just gonna have to go right back to the beach to go to the other world. skip that cutscene, don't realize. Save a little bit of time in doing so and check out this funky, not quite coming out right effect. I wonder if there's like any adjustment that I could make to my setup here so that that actually looked right, but at this point I just want to say that I would rather not risk it if I don't have to. But who knows if that would just make other things stop working properly. Okay, so I I have no idea at all what I should be doing right now, given that apparently I've been directed to the Water Dragon Isle, but I can't go to the Water Dragon Isle because then I will just... Uh, I'll just run into a dead end, as I've demonstrated just a little while ago. There's one thing that I could at least try, just to see what happens, is go back to uh, the shore of Mount Pyre. Because we were told that we shouldn't just go there because, you know, I guess we're gonna die if we don't have the Water Dragon's protection or something to that effect. If we try to go into the mountain, through the mountain... We try to make the trek through Mount Gulug, we're going to be completely demolished by the... yeah. Looks like the floor is lava here, so that's probably not good news. It's probably gonna be the same kind of deal as with the poison water in the... Uh, the other world version of the swamp. Ooh, okay, I think we've got our feet in the lava now. Are we taking... yeah, we're taking lots of damage. It's, uh, it's not even a visible change, though. What happens if I try to run over here just to grab this chest? Magma burst. And now I'm, like, completely dead right here. <laughs> It's not even like a visual indication that that should happen, but there you go. I mean, I, I guess if you have enough healing items, you can just, just brute force your way through that if you're really determined, but I would rather not do that if I don't have to. And like something that you would see in, uh, I don't know, I was trying to think of an example from a Castlevania game. But that because I was thinking of uh, that one part near the end of Bloodstained where you have to go, like, to the top of the entrance area. You have to go through some very narrow hallways filled with spikes, and you're supposed to, like, pick up the... Well, that game's equivalent of the Spike Breaker from Symphony of the Night. I wonder if there's any other part of this island that we can go to. Hmm. Could try going somewhere else, I guess. Here. But I think that you could also brute force your way through that uh, part of the castle if you're determined enough and you have enough healing. Or defense or what have you. But you're really not supposed to do that, but... I guess that being a game in the style of Symphony of the Night and just Castlevania, Metroidvania stuff in general. Wouldn't be surprised if that's exactly the kind of thing that crazy people like people who do speedruns did on the regular. 
still don't seem to be able to grab anything or see anything from here. An empty screen. Could go to the marble shore. I don't know if that would be a good idea right now. Do we go talk to the... Um... Oh, it's like a current here, that's why we couldn't go that way. Didn't even notice that until now. <laughs> we can go to Isle of the Damned, but... That was Isle of the Dead, but... I wonder how much of a difference there is between those two, in the context of this. We can go back to the burned out Hermit's hideout and see if uh, he's got any sagely wisdom to share with us regarding the current situation. Assuming that he's there. Nope. Is there anything like hidden from view back here that I can grab? Spamming the button, so I guess not. Alright, see you later, Radius. Maybe one day we'll meet your son, Diameter, and then we'll let you know. Ground here is hot, vegetation won't be able to grow here. Okay, I don't think I pressed anything to make that message show up, but I guess it just... shows up by itself. What about over here? What about a few steps over to the... to the left here? This ground doesn't look like it's, it's in such a bad state. Doesn't look like it was uh, scorched when that whole house that we assume to have been here burned down. Even though we got here far too late to even see what that house might have looked like. Look at it and like. Can we go back into the pirate ship? We can try that. I mean the captain dude in here. Oh god, it's this effect again. Just dropping by, you know. Okay. What if we say we're just about to leave? Oh, that's how we get off the ship. It's a good thing that I came back to the ship, because I don't think that I've heard this track before. All is well. Ain't nothing but peace and harmony and, uh, you know, the bizarre solitary victory effect. Is that uh, gives me at least a couple of things to potentially look into for this game in the future, if I want to keep playing it, which is... Uh, which I mean, there's no reason why I wouldn't want to keep playing it right now, but... Some things that I should probably figure out about it if I do keep playing it is, uh, you know, the whole stat increase thing. Try to look more into the particulars of how that works. If we get down from here, there. And also to see if I can change any settings on, on uh, RetroArch to make this not look terrible. But hey, at least it works. Shouldn't the breeze. Oh, where's the captain? Can we, like, get back out of the shape if we go this way, or does this go somewhere else entirely? Okay, yeah, I recognize this place now. And I'm guessing that if I go down into this other, like, stairway that's visible from here, I can actually... ...take, like, the quick way down to the decks. Can we meet with the captain again, is what I would want to know. Maybe if we go this way, maybe now we'll be able to yeah, go into this room, which I assume to be the captain's room, based on how it looks. Is he not here? I don't see anyone here. It's conspicuously got those Chinese characters up there. This has been a very interesting area to explore, but what about this door down here? We couldn't open it before. Is it open now? It's open now. Maybe I could try out more of these doors and see if there's like anything hidden in this place that I just couldn't access before. Guess seems to be empty rooms so far though. This place before. I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, so this is like the kitchen. I was able to open the door that was between the kitchen and the room where we actually is this room now. Oh, yeah, never mind. It has to be because there's no other doors here. So that has to be the room where we woke up when we 
haven't got far into the hole there before. If we go down from here, though, I think there were a few doors in the hallway, uh, the lower hallway here that we could open before. Maybe now the circumstances will have changed, but apparently also they will lead to more of these empty rooms that are just, uh, just quarters, I guess. Sure, we went to this place. What's up? So, you got Bron. I'm going to assume that. I guess I actually have looked at everything back here, though. Because this is where the. No, I guess not. Actually, this might have been the place where. Yeah, I think I might have been confused. This might have been the place where we woke up. Maybe I was, was mistaken. Yeah, this is the door that we opened, so... That means that potentially... Did we go into this room down here? Oh. I mean, I guess there's probably nothing else in here anyway. Which means that potentially one of the, do well, one of the doors upstairs in this hallway that I'm about to go into again here. This one here. I assume this one to be the room where we woke up, but I guess I must have been mistaken. And this is the one where we went into the, the vent. Well, it's where we came out of the vent, apparently. Oh, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. I don't think that's quite the quote, but... What are you, like, uh... Are you awake? Or are you awake now? Are you afraid to arouse the ire of the... Robert Louis Stevenson estate, if there is even such a thing? Which, unfortunately, would not surprise me. There will always be people who always be people who love to try and profit off of the effort of the people who aren't even alive anymore. And who may not have even wanted that. Like Lovecraft, for example, that's another very good example of people who <laughs> just take it on the copyright that was his, even though that's probably not even what he wanted, and messing around with it. Okay, they still hate humans in this place, but maybe someone in this place will be able to, uh... Maybe someone here will be able to tell us how to meet the blue dragon. The other who knew about this incident passed away years ago. I mean, maybe we can find some kind of alternative marble in the other world, but... It's the same kind of issue where we can't really explore around all that much in the other world because we don't have a ship or anything like that. I some of my stuff too. Oh boy. How about we how about we chat first? Travel around a lot to find good stuff. Don't tell my bro but I got stuff that he don't got, baby. Kid bro of G shop. Are we supposed to know whose brother he is? Ooh. I trapped a cat inferno element, volcano element, so this stuff looks like a bit more pricey, but at the same time, yeah, definitely a bit more pricey. Temporarily increases element damage by 1.5, but that also affects everyone. That might be a bit of a... I don't even know if we have like a high enough element level to where we can use most of these, or even any of these for that matter. I think the highest element level that we have right now is just uh, 4. Unless we maybe got stronger by virtue of... Uh, I should probably check that, actually. Getting another star level. Yeah, I think we have up to level 5 now. I didn't realize that. And we have more room for stuff in the... Oh, we have more room here. And we have an empty one there. So maybe we should actually try to buy some stuff from this guy. See how we do. What stuff do we have that's uh, level 5? Let me see. This is level 6, but it has a variability, so we could use it, so I guess I will, um... I'll buy, like, at least one of these two, so we can say that we have them. Not quite sure what uh, these consumables are, though, but apparently they're for... catching elements. I'll buy one of them. I'll buy, I guess, a few of the cheaper ones. Carnivore, 
Earthquake, Deluge, and Inferno. And how about Freefall and Holy Light too, like one of the cheaper ones for each island. Not sure how they work, but I'll let me go ahead and readjust my element loadout here. In light of the fact that I can do so now. Let me take a look here. What is my highest element stuff that I have with me right now that isn't uh, consumable? I guess maybe this. I can magnify with uh, offset chrono, but no. Search. I can also. What does Panachia do? Moves all status effects. Okay. Fire Pillar 3 plus 5. I should probably give that to Watch Your Face to Kid. Go to Meteor Light again. Yeah, probably better to just give him more white element stuff. How about her? How much more room does she have? Just one, so yeah, probably just put this new attack on, on here. Fire Peddler. And as for him, looks like he might have a little bit more room, but that might just be okay. He's got room for one more here. Do I have any other? Uh, I guess there's Aqua Ball. Also, a large fear of water at the opponent, and as for this one, what the hell am I gonna put here, actually, maybe diminish? Or graviton? I'm gonna actually see if I can... What's the stat on Graviton? 3 plus minus 5, okay, so I can replace uh, Hell Soul with Graviton. That would actually do something. Ooh, and I forgot that we were almost dead because we stepped in the fucking lava, so... I should probably also step at an, stop at an inn soon. He's having a deep blue dream. There's like three characters bunched up here that are hidden by the foreground. Okay, so the black dragon is here on this island. That's the one that's sleeping here. And because it's sleeping, we can't really talk to it either. This person still does not want to talk to us. talk to the elder of this place again. I feel like he at least treated us kind of nicely before. See a feeding on the black dragon. Eternal flames of the gods are trying to burn their way into the hearts of you and so. Deadly dragon gods seal the flame in there. I just reversed in there. Well, what, you wouldn't even be able to... Uh, get in there and stay in there. I'm not quite sure what the implication is of that time being reversed. I don't remember what you were trying to get to. I guess I'm trying to figure out how to do anything at the blue water dragon isle. We were told that we we're supposed to go there now, but apparently we can't actually do anything there. Since... Uh I guess it's normally there's normally a little. There is normally supposed to be water there, but right now there isn't, and there's also like a underground passageway that leads deeper into the island, but we can't actually go there because it's sealed off with uh, ice. I don't remember what this place looks like. I think yeah, there's just a couple of people hanging out here. I'm going to assume that there's not going to be anything uh, different here. I try to tempt fate and stand in front of this guy surfing. Or on top of... I'll just hang out here. Okay, well that didn't do anything. This would, I guess, be where the Earth Dragon is rumored to be, but it wouldn't be, uh, even be the dragon that we're supposed to try and find right now. I guess I'm gonna have to make a bit stop over at Termina anyhow. 
because I took a tiny, tiny dip in the lava at the fire mountain, so now I am almost dead. I'll tell you if you want, I might ask for something in just a moment. After I try to remember what I was thinking of a moment ago, which was probably an analogy with uh, the first Thief game. I don't remember if the same thing could happen in Thief 2 as well, but I do remember that in some of the stages in Thief 1 you had, like, lava. And if you make even the slightest contact with that thing, if you dip your pinky toe in it, it will just instantly kill you. But as in pretty much all video games, you can bound over the level you want without being worried about it at all. It's only when you make any kind of direct contact with it that you just instantly die. But yeah, I guess since I'm not really sure what to do here, I, I will ask this. Um, should I be looking for something on the Water Dragon Island itself? I guess I can take another look at it right now. Actually, that is what I would like to know right now. I'm supposed to go to the other world, Dragon Isle, even though I still have that problem that I was talking about before, where I have no idea if I'm even able to travel around in the other world. I guess I'm gonna go look. I'll go to this place again, go back to Arnie, and then go back to the beach, and then try to. anything at all that I may have missed here. until probably just now, but I guess the elder of this village in this world is also the same guy that's uh, the old dragoon that lives in the burned house in the other world. Hmm. I didn't even make that connection until literally right now. Okay, I've already done the battle tutorial there. Burned right track. Hmm. So I shouldn't be looking in... You know, this village that seems to be the only village that may or may not have a... Well, the only place that I can access in this world right now that could maybe have something like a boat. That I could use. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Can't imagine that I don't need to go back into my own house. Hmm. Okay, I guess where is that boat? That looks identical to the one that we have in the other world. The background, but didn't seem like a... Uh, Didn't seem like we had the option to look into that before. Maybe I should go check it out again. Maybe I should go to collect the person that's always out there fishing on the pier. Maybe that's the owner of the boat. Even though I've been too over to talk to that person a few times, I still don't know what person's face is actually supposed to look like. It's kind of hard to make that out. I don't know if I'm looking at like a veil or a beard or what. You want me to take the water of Dragon Isle? Oh, well, obviously. I mean, sure, I've been forking out 100g to somebody else. That doesn't necessarily live in this dimension on the regular so that we can not be dead. All right. Guess we won't be buying out the boat from this person, but at least we can actually get here. It's a dumb puzzle, like nothing to really tell you to go there, yeah. The implication is supposed to be that uh, you go to it in the version of it that you can actually reach easily. And they're like, no, this isn't in the state that it should be. There's nothing for you to do here, Wink. I see any of the fairies that usually dance around the pond. Hmm. There's more village of fairies on this isle, it should be just beyond this pond. Alright. Can we like step out into the overworld and uh, just kind of hang out there for a moment? Go back to the village already. Oh. See, I wanted to do that. Or like take a quick step out into the world map to see if I could save again. But. Guess that's not really an option. So I sure hope that if you have to deal with something like a boss fight or anything like that here, we get the chance to save before that. Let's travel around like Sam and Max. Hmm. Oh, doesn't seem to be anything here, so what if I hop on this one? Okay, there's a save point, but can we even get there from over here? Can we even get anywhere from over here, actually? I see that chest up there. Can we climb up? Oh, yeah, we can. Aqua Ball. Yes, I'm forced to assume that Aqua Ball is going to be at least a little bit stronger than some of the other stuff that we found. Since we have not been able to find more copies of that until a little bit more recently. Piano album is shipping soon, comes with a sheet music for Chronicles as well. Nice. So I'm gonna have to figure out if I if there's any tracks that stand out to me from this game. More than others once I'm actually done with it.
<lacht> Gib das, okay. Table with the middle one again, I guess. Probably a good option. I'm pretty sure that this wasn't the case a while ago, but it seems to have finally balanced things out to the point that Surge has the most HP. Alright. Oh, there is like a little alcohol back here. And we picked up some iron, there we go. I guess we're supposed to remember that there is a little alcohol back there in the um, the other world's version of this place. I don't think we need iron as badly as we might have in the past. Oh, we already have more iron equipment. Could use a little bit more copper. Oh, okay. I guess this is where the uh, where the dwarves move to. Too good for these damn fairies. Okay, so they were hypocrites. What a what a surprise. The human status of the world is built in the dead bodies of other species. Well, maybe this will be the prophecy encounter here. All the tracks I enjoy are later in the game, except dreams of a shoreboarding in another world. Hmm. Well, that one is pretty neat. Hey fairies, are you doing okay? Are you completely dead? They killed everyone. Well, I guess that one on the left must be. Well, I guess we better go ahead and slaughter all the dwarfs in turn. I if they're gonna be any stronger, technically speaking, than the ones that we fought in Swamp. There's Daffy Dwarf, Daffy Dwarf, and Dwarf. And I think that just Dwarf is one that we fought before, so I might as well go after that one first. Probably won't be a big deal. Just some overall statement. Uh, we try out Fire Pillar. Does it only work on one enemy at a time? Let's try it on this guy. Alright, not bad. I think that we should be, you know, focusing fire, just like before. Nothing says save the environment like a bunch of dead dwarves. Well, you know how it is. You know how. In Tolkien literature and what have you, dwarves are just kind of known for digging too deep and messing things up. And perhaps in a few uh, slightly newer bits of fiction that deal with dwarfs in the title too. over this murder that I committed. I was probably at least somehow involved in. stronger than uh, the other stuff. Yeah, it is pretty strong, actually. Okay, apparently 11.30 at night is not late enough for the obnoxiously loud engines in the background to use up. 
They will still make their way around every so often. How daring, he shall perish in the depths of the sea along with those fairies. Can't you see by going over to the swamp and killing the Hydra clearly? You forced us to come here and slaughter all these other creatures. There's no other conclusion to be drawn from that. My whole Warcry attack does even less damage now than it did, uh, but we had to deal with it in the swamp. Doesn't seem to have gotten any stronger. Can I kill this guy with a single combo from Surge? are just dead. But this guy's just by himself. seem to uh, be particularly impressive. Let's have an attack with Magma Bomb, I suppose. Would make the rest of the skill by that much faster. So what difference does that gonna make? Not a whole lot of difference, but at least a bit of difference. That makes all the bit of difference. Page. I think that happens now. 
we follow along after the chieftain. Kind of wondering how we get that chest over there. Maybe we have to like access that part of the screen through a different entrance. There doesn't really seem to be any obvious way to get over there from here. another fairy corpse up here, but I'm not going to find that it's probably a corpse. It probably won't yield anything, even if we can not to check it out. So it could always be some kind of secret ploy to mess up our own world in an effort to do good stuff in the other world. Now we must confront you fools once again. I guess they're all going to attack in much of the same way as they did before. So you gotta be the same kind of formation, I wonder. Now there's just, there does seem to be a yeah, similar number of dwarves. Not to attacks don't really seem to have gotten any stronger, like I said. Okay, so there's six still. And I guess our first order of business here, just like before, is gonna be to try and wipe out as many of them as possible. As quickly as possible. Okay, so hit them with Magma Bomb first. Probably wanna build up to that one, actually. How many of them we have? We have four. Try to build up as much as possible. Start with this one. And then maybe do some red element stuff if I even have any of that. Yeah, I do. <laughs> there we go. one guy in the back that seems like he's doing uh, perfectly fine still, but no, I did finish him off. Just keep spamming the multiple target attack until they all go down, I suppose. Oh, and that even got a new growth level. are still not dead. Just gotta keep hanging around. Well, 
the dudes down there seem like uh, they're just gonna hang out over there for at least a little while longer. There's more of them back here. There's also this place. Go to a different place through here. Doesn't seem to be anything here, but I guess maybe if we find a similar passageway on the other side of the waterfall. That's how we get out to where that chest was on the other screen. Oh, not quite. Apparently we need to find yet another one that's higher up. I think I did see. I don't know if I want to keep fighting dwarves at this point. Which will really be like the boss formation that they had, but... Oh, the magic ring, what is that about? Magic ring improves magical power. Do we want to improve that for... maybe for a kid? Let's see, she's got defense and hit percent. And bronze helmet made out of copper. Which I guess is the better helmet out of all these, but... Can we swap that out for a magic ring? Or one tiny... Yeah, maybe not. Hold on. How about this defense difference here will be one point. So do I want to swap out a little bit? I guess I will. Let's see if that ends up being a good option in the long run. And if not, I can just swap it back. Hmm. Not too sure what we're trying to do now. I guess we can descend to this place. There's more to find here, which is not terribly clear. Well, there seems to be another save point there, so I guess we'll try to clear the way to it first. I don't know if we're gonna have to deal with some kind of a other boss encounter here. Really doesn't seem like Korja is getting any more HP increases, though, does it? I'm gonna go ahead and save again. I don't know how badly we need that now, but. I mean, I'm assuming they put this here for a reason. actually chase after the dwarf so that we can exterminate them completely. Oh boy. Well, we've skipped over quite a few dwarfs on the way here, but we're just trying to kill their leader maybe. Okay, he only got one point of uh, plus one max HP. 
wonder if anything was different. There's scaly dress, set and piece of equipment. We can use. Scaly dress, let me guess, it can only be worn by her, yeah. Apparently raises magic defense by one point, but right now it would be a trade for female use only, there you go. Get off with regular defense, which would be two points, so maybe not right now. I mean, pretty much all the numbers in this game seem to be on the small side as far as stat, um, just stats and stat modifiers, so maybe that will make kind of significant difference, but... I think I'd rather than hold them with your death, have we? Now I guess we did chase these dwarves all the way to the proverbial end of the line. He just brought this thing over with him to this island somehow. Unless he somehow built it here. Dwarf? My whole tank or dwarf? Gee, I wonder. I guess I'm gonna try attacking this thing directly just to see what happens. Let's give it a nice uh, poke. Maybe try some kind of element attack. Let's see. I guess before I do anything, let's switch over to her. Uh, no, 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 what are you doing? I don't want to attack this. I want to attack that thing. I'm going to preemptively assume that it's going to be a good idea to focus fire on this thing. But yeah, before I do any elemental stuff with anybody else, see if I can get this guy's elemental level charged up. Okay, god damn it. I was kind of hoping that I would get a chance to do another elemental attack before something like this happened, but. Oh shit, okay, that actually hurt quite a bit. But hey, that's all the more reason for me to focus fire on this thing, I would say. I would assume. Yeah, the damage that the other dwarves are doing seems to be pretty laughable compared to what the tank just did. Okay. He's also dizzy, I don't know if that's gonna really affect him all that much, but let's try to hit this thing with, I guess, Ice Blast first. Rather, I could have hit this thing with the element uh, just a moment ago before. Oh shit, that actually did quite a bit of damage. Now that we've done that, let's see if I can hit this thing with, I don't know, I guess let's try Fortin Ray. Catch what it's in the element. It looks like it's uh, yellow, like pretty much the rest of the dwarf stuff. So, yes, in theory, that might suggest that maybe, just maybe, even. This time, that we should be using is green element stuff. Let's try a bush basher. Well, fittingly enough, at least that will end up pushing out the yellow element from the field. I'm gonna try to attack regularly with Surge again. And as for you, I guess you can also use another one of these attacks, green attacks. Bush Smasher, minus two. But it's still gonna hit for pretty decent damage. Do you have any green element stuff? You have Bush Smasher, minus one. Yeah, minus one, go for it. Hit with all the green stuff. Pretty decent damage, I would say. And now it seems to be pretty weakened, at least as far as... I don't know if that was supposed to do like as much damage as the other big attack that it did. Was supposed to, but... This probably would be a good time to uh, heal as well. Who's got the green heal ability? Is it you? Is it Surge? I think it might be Surge, or... She only has, like, offensive abilities, so... Let's get Surge's stuff charged up again so that he can heal Korcha. It's probably a good time to go for that. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Aren't we not able to pull that off, though? Not after all. Or was that just like a big blitz attack for everyone? Yeah, what a reason for me to try and actually build up the fucking... 
charge on that so that I can use something. Okay, so... Hey, Porsche, do you have any green element stuff? You do, but you can't use it yet. I guess I'll try to. Uh, go ahead and hit this thing. Swipe it a couple of times so that we can charge up the element and then we'll switch back over to Surge and he can heal, I think. New Porsche. If Scorch is still able to take his turn after that, he can attack this tank with whatever he's got. Oh no, he also had a heal, never mind. He's gonna use it again on himself to top that off. Might as well, since this is the last uh, green element thing that we can use here, so. Well, on that note, I should better switch over to red element or something. Let's try Pilfer too, probably a good idea to not forget about that. Oh, I guess we just couldn't do it. I'm forced to assume that uh, it couldn't have worked, oh shit. Hopefully that hurt again, but hopefully she won't end up dying from this, okay, so... Pretty sure we should still have some ability to cure, I guess we'll make it blue this time, though. We have a couple of blue cures and also a white recover all that what his face has. Oh shit. Okay, I guess this is your incentive to kill the other dwarves. How much are they gonna heal? 112? That's not. Uh, pretty sure that doesn't even begin to account for all the damage that we've done to the, the tank overall, but still. How oh, dare you try and support your, your compatriots like that? Okay, now time to do Magma Bomb, I suppose. Or a couple of these to build up the red element again, and also. Um, also, what? I'll also try to do collective damage to get the other dwarves out of the way. Or we'll try to. Can you do... Yeah, you have like a full element charge right now. And also do Magma Bomb at least once, so I'll go ahead and do that. And you, you don't have any charge, so it's time to build that up again. It's one dwarf dead. This thing countering because we killed one of its friends. I wonder if that's uh, what was going on or if that was just kind of coincidence. Okay, and we're also going to. Come on. Also going to focus fire on doing. Or just not focus fire, but just focus period on doing regular attack damage on that guy. Reinforcements are dead. I'll take this opportunity to do level, I guess, plus two fireball, level four, whatever it was. And see if Surge can heal her up. I think he can, yeah, because he should have like at least one cure at his disposal. And also that recover all but Probably better to start off with this. I guess we just try to build up the red element again. Unless we want to build up blue element, which might not be a bad idea. Iris, what? Like... Resurrect the others? Defense temporarily increased. I don't know what high res, but the... I guess high resistance instead of a resolution. That would make sense if it uh, ended up increasing its sound defense, but... Maybe we should just kind of uh, stall for a bit, so that we don't end up... Uh... We don't end up wasting firepower, but... Wait, what? They just get two turns in a row, but they are like stamina so low that that actually somehow was able to happen. Or did that attack just... Was it actually supposed to hit twice in a row? Oh well. Start by doing a 
consumable tablet thing to build myself. Now start building up Red Element again. There, just use it on fucking search. He doesn't actually need it. God damn it. I don't have any Red Element stuff, so I guess I'm just gonna have to. Um, just gonna keep this guy doing regular attacks. He's one of the ones who can actually afford to do so anyway. Guess I'll do this one more time though. Tablet and this time actually use it on myself, which is what I meant to do. I mean, you know exactly what else, but... He's got level 3 elements, let's see what he has. What he can do, he can do Magma Bomb, which he can't really do anymore, and he can do Fireball, which... Now seems like a good time. I'm gonna probably build up... Kids element charge a little bit more and see if she can pull off fire cover unless this thing is already done. No paranoid, I guess. We didn't even have to do that. Even if I think fire pillar probably would have been a bit of a flashier way to end things off here. Not that they don't turn out to be necessary in the end. We've driven off our land once again. Is there no land on this planet where we can live in peace? Well, apparently not if you're gonna just try to make war with whoever decides to also be there at the same time. There's a fairy over there, but it might just be dead like all the other ones that we saw outside. Okay, now apparently this is this universe's version of Rosetta. And she's not dead. Oh, well, by their presence, he's talking about the dwarves. Just, you know, hang out here and continue with your little lie down there. It'll be all perfectly fine. We just gotta get ourselves some kind of protection against the horrible lava cave effect. For the Drake kin from Longest Journey, this thing is not. That one does not explain. I know already what thou seekest here. It's but a trifle for we sleeping dragons who had dwelt upon this land for ages. Mount Pyre, the land thou seekest, is home to the fire dragon. Unless thou quench his red blazes, it will prove a difficult journey. My breath can freeze even boiling lava. And my support net as well, oh boy. The Frog Prince. And now I guess these two things are just somehow in our inventory. Will thou change this world or will thou change thyself? Will thou live in on with thy mother planet or will thou turn thy back on the planet and tread another path? Well, I have really that much of a choice in the matter, I mean... I have to wonder that. They say that they were chased out of the forest by the humans, all the dwarves. They, they drifted down to our island, so the humans are to blame. Clearly now we're gonna see that you're not welcome here.
Okay. Apparently she's turned on us as well. Although our village has been saved, no one here thinks kindly of men. And also, Kit just collapsed. That came out of nowhere. Just the same as this. Luca. Just so a couple of different divisions that seem to be pretty much non sequitur to one another. And may or may not have raised a few very significant questions, let's see. What have you got there, I have to wonder? Seeing that fairy's eyes filled with tears over losing her friends must have triggered memories of my own past. My own past as uh, someone in some kind of, I guess I was her dream that we just saw. Someone in some kind of schoolhouse that was burned down by Lynx. Someone when I was a baby. It was someone who took me in and raised me as if I were her own little sister. Where did our house burn down and kidnap Sis? And she never came back, so I guess we haven't met whoever that is. Okay, this vocal part of the track seemed like it kind of came out of nowhere. The idea of guardian angels watching over us all the time. That's a lot of rubbish. And it always gets the last laugh. Only the ones who don't think anything of hurting others are the ones who get bloodstained fortunes. Star Stealing Girl, yeah. Another one of the tracks that was reused from Radical Dreamers. See, that's like the normal ending theme in that game, but I don't remember. I know that there, I think I remember there being at least two different ending themes from what little I saw of it. And now we're here. What if we take the time to travel all the way back to the, and take the route back to where the fairies are? Can we go say hi very cordially? I don't remember exactly what route that is, to be honest, but it must be the one right here. Unless we're somehow going to be forced to fight fairies, like in Tales of Fantasia. You can't enter Fairyville right now. You can, however, find out that it's called Fairyville, which is not... Uh, piece of information that you had been privy to beforehand. And clearly that must be reward enough for making your way back over there.
What's going on? The old Pokemon's gone. Oh yeah, there's that. Okay, I guess it was a he this whole time. That's something that I couldn't quite figure out. Was a he with that sagging pink shirt. That's looking a little gloomy for it to have gone well. Well, I mean, technically, in a strictly technical sense, managed to accomplish our objective, so. Let's go ahead and head back now. Guess we can check the menu and see if we can locate these things that we got from Big Ol' Blue Frog Dragon. See if they're just hanging out there or what. Okay, that kid is still perpetually diving off into the water. And Lena's still asking after us even though we've been to see her again like three times already. After our first interdimensional travel. Okay, so... Well, Quarcha needs some healing, I guess, as long as we're here, we can probably just uh, go to sleep in our own house. Oh, here's the Ice Breath. Cold Breath of the Water Dragon has the power to freeze you in piping hot magma. I think everything else we've already seen, but what about that other thing? I guess we can check the equipment. Hmm. Could it be an element that we actually got off of? No, I don't think it would be, but... Uh, what am I doing? Okay, I need to go back. One more step to actually see what I'm trying to get, which is this screen. There it is, Frog Prince. A leaf in 8 colors blue summons Frog Prince to perform a water attack. I wasn't even sure if that was going to be an actual element, but... I guess we're going to give it to this guy. I think we might have got another, uh, yeah, another additional level, so I might as well go ahead and try to put it here. Rock Prince minus two, so it's not even like the ideal thing, but this is literally the lowest point that we could put it at too, since it's supposed to be level seven innately. Right, ice Blast again too, I guess. We have uh, room for like one more all the way down here. You do, okay. I guess I could try to give him a red thing, even though that would make not a terrible amount of sense, just based on the fact that it's, um, He's counter relevant pretty much, but I mean, he's got fucking yellow stuff, which we haven't really been using all that much since it seemed to be the innate element for much of the stuff that we've been fighting. I don't think uh, Surge has any yellow stuff, though, which will give him something on, like the lowest level here. Let's give him. Uh, I guess I'll heal. Uh, let's give him something else here. What else can he use? He can give him another copy of Fortune Beam. I mean, why not? Plus one. And as for her, let me see how much extra room does she have now. Let's give her Magma Burst here. I think we did have one more of those, and so we do. Uh, let's give her something else here. I guess we can also give her something blue, even though that would be a bit uh, contradictory. Might as well go for it. Might as well just try to diversify as much as possible. Probably also try to account a bit more for, you know, healing stuff and include more of that, but... Really, that's something that can be completely... Well, maybe not completely ignored, but... Kind of put by the wayside a little bit. I have been doing so far. This cutscene with the CGI rendering that makes me vaguely reminded of something like the type of FMVs that you would see in the Mist games. I mean, there sure is a lot more animal and other stuff in the art style, but if I had to compare it to something else as far as the uh, general look, I feel like that's the first thing to come to mind. Especially something like Mist 3. Which is actually a game that I never 
finished, even though I probably should at some point. Let's see, I feel like this is where I will pretty much leave things off for now, since it's already midnight, but... Uh, before I do that, I will save and I probably won't. Save again after this, or do anything after I save. That's gonna be significant. I won't even... I <laughs> shouldn't even, like, leave things here, actually, because I need to go heal Korcha. I completely forgot to go to my own house, <laughs> like I said I was going to. And heal there, but... while well, we have this... Breath, do we just, like, bring it out here? Okay, I guess we do just bring it out here. I guess something that we could at least try to do is... Um, Fight one of the monsters that's in here. Like, what about this thing? Try to find this guy and get the chest that it seems to be guarding. And maybe that will be a good stopping point. Well, that and then I guess getting the money out of this okay, cat burglar. This guy is, I guess, predictably enough because they're in a fair area, have read as their innate element. And we should have seen that much coming, so. We won't get that much use out of the kid here, at least not using her regular elements. Oh shit. Where do you know? It also shouldn't be that surprising if a cat enemy is agile. But at least they also do in fact die in short order. I should hope that they don't end up using any kind of uh, elemental attack before I have a chance to do something like try out this low level thing that I put in kids uh, set here. Can't do frog prints. Why can't we do frog prints actually? I mean, we have enough level to do it. Quite sure I can't select that one, but okay. I guess I won't. I guess I'll do Aqua Beam and see if I still have enough charge to oh, get his stamina back to the point where he can actually do another attack. To use the other strong attack that he had at the end, but I get the feeling that this thing will be dead before that happens. I feel it needs to be completely that color. Oh, I see. I guess that's what the star means. Hold on a moment, did I just uh, get a free heal? Just by virtue of uh, doing what I just did. I think I did. I guess I didn't really need to worry too much about that, but... But yeah, like I said, I think that's where I'm gonna be leaving things off for the time being. So if it's a blue summon, the field would have to be all blue, yeah. I don't think that I've found any other uh, element stuff that have that requirement, though, so... I didn't quite cut that, but yeah. He thinks this will be where we leave things off for now. I guess I am gonna want to actually do more encounters in the, in the part up ahead so that I can maybe get more stat increases and all that good stuff. I thought that maybe in some parts of this game I would want to or end up wanting to park myself in an area where I could easily like do random encounters off screen or something so I could grind, but apparently that's not really gonna be that much of a factor in this game. Doesn't seem like you get that many benefits out of grinding. You just kind of have to keep pressing forward and getting more of these uh, raised stat thresholds to actually do better. But yeah, I guess I will briefly bring back this L.A. Noir song that I was playing before. To start playing this out, which will only last for a few seconds though before it just fades out its own and goes to something else. Yeah, that was nice. Still not even sure if I'm gonna be able to. Oh, hey, well, this is uh, somewhat fitting after playing Chrono Cross, of all things. To try and start playing this out, but yeah, I'm not sure at this point if I'm gonna be able to do um, to do a stream tomorrow, because I don't think that um, people 
who would be involved in that have confirmed whether or not they would be available. I guess we'll find out. Oh my goodness. Also finding out some very interesting stuff, like apparently the, um, you know how Rhythm Bot got shut down recently, you probably heard about that. However you may be in the situation, but apparently a bunch of the music bots that work on Discord and that use YouTube integration are uh, basically following suit, and a bunch of them even without getting any direct prompting. Like apparently Octave, which is one such bot, is doing that soon. And a few other ones that apparently were being used for the same purpose, like Fredboat and uh, I think Chip, or something like that. I've removed it already. But hey, at least there is, uh, you know, that one option that few people seem to be able to use. Including, I guess, myself for anything that I do in my server, which is the Jagrush J Music Bot, which the main reason that it can't really be taken down in that same fashion is that you have to host it yourself, which may create some complications if you try to uh, use it on any kind of larger scope, but... But then I guess it's just a matter of uh, getting it figured out with the people who would be using that. I mean, hopefully that doesn't cease to be an option. Probably wouldn't be regardless because of the... The fact that each user would have to have like a build of the bot on their end to actually be able to use it, so... It's not like all of those could be shut down at once. At least I wouldn't hope so, unless they somehow mess with the... The entire source of how that thing accesses YouTube, which I suppose is a impossible, but oh well. Yeah. I guess like what I'm saying is I would prefer not to not think about such things right now, even if it is an unfortunate thing that seems to be pretty much coming down upon everyone. I have a feeling the YouTube randomizers might be getting shut down eventually. Yeah, I suppose that's also not out of the question, which is very unfortunate because they're very good tools. And I mean, YouTube's own like proprietary system to accomplish the same thing is just complete garbage compared to these things that other people have made, so... You would think that they would at least bear that in mind, like there's a reason why these things exist and people don't just use the proprietary thing, but... Uh, who knows if they would even bother to process that. So we better just keep using what's available for the time being, while it's still an option. But, yes, on that note, let me take a quick look around here and see if I can at least attempt a quick raid right now. I think I just might. Into random doesn't work at all for any playlist or 100 videos here. Yeah. I mean, like, managing anything, it's kind of like managing large albums, I don't think this would be, like, a... It's much of a thing that we would have dealt with in VTM-type circles, but I'm pretty sure that I'm, I have dealt with myself in the past, which is... Managing large albums, some anger. Especially if you're trying to, like, tag all of this content within those albums, it's just a... Horrible, laggy mess. And they don't really have any way to streamline it better than... Just that state, so... Oh well. All this thing kinda sucks, but let me go ahead and sign off of these kind of thing for the time being, for the day, I guess. And maybe try and for a quick raid at... I hope that I spelled this correctly. Some of the streams whom we have met recently and who seems to be live right now and who seems to be playing... Another game that I think would be quite thematically appropriate to follow up on after the end of a... Actually, no, never mind. I think I'm gonna have to cancel this because I literally just clicked on his channel and he seems to have literally just ended. So, never mind. But was playing Super Mario RPG, I guess, so that I just leave that thought up in the air, but doesn't seem to be doing that anymore. Oh well. Well, on that note, I don't know if there's really going to be anything else for me to look to. To a potential rate, so I might just end things off here instead. Yeah.
Yeah, probably a good idea. I think we're just gonna do that, so... Well, I've already... Gosh, this seems like it's a little bit lower than the other tracks that I've been playing on this playlist. Maybe just the uh, very heavy chiptune fucking snare drum thing that's going on there, or at least bass similar... I don't know, simulation similarity thing that's going on, but... It does seem to be that way, but yeah, anyway. I've already mentioned a few times my more or less projection that I have for this immediate future, which is that I'm probably going to be spending pretty much all of next week trying to finish uh, Greatest Attorney Part 2 and then do other stuff in October that I probably, or hopefully, manage to plan better and probably have a, a few Chrono Cross things sprinkled here and there as part of that. But we'll see exactly how that's going to work. But for now, I will just say you'll take it easy. I think everybody for coming like always. Gonna have to slow down here, or else it's just going to be a disaster. Thanks for chatting. Always great whenever people chat, and I will see you later.